The quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO, is one of the climate drivers that can influence UK weather. The QBO is a regular variation of the winds that blow in a belt around the planet. And this occurs 15 to 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth over the equator between 5 degrees south and 5 degrees north. The QBO has two phases, an easterly phase when winds in the stratosphere flow in an easterly direction, and a westerly phase when the winds change to a westerly direction. This change in direction occurs about every 14 months, so a full cycle takes around 28 months. The QBO is one of the most regular atmospheric oscillations, making it highly predictable. It has wide-reaching impacts and can affect UK weather. The QBO influences the strength of the stratospheric polar vortex, which in turn influences surface pressure patterns. The stratospheric polar vortex is a fast-moving circulation of stratospheric air that forms up to 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth around the North Pole in winter. The strength of the polar vortex can influence our jet stream, which is a core of strong winds around 8 to 10 kilometers above the Earth's surface. We normally expect UK weather to come in from the west, with a flow of relatively mild air off the Atlantic. In a typical winter, the jet stream is quite strong and drives weather systems from the Atlantic towards the UK. When the QBO is in a westerly phase, there is an increased chance of a strong polar vortex and mild, wet and stormy conditions in winter. Whereas when the QBO is in an easterly phase, there's an increased chance of the polar vortex being weaker as well as a weaker jet stream. A weaker jet stream means less flow of mild air off the Atlantic and an increased likelihood of cold northerly or easterly winds in winter from the Arctic and from continental Europe. An easterly QBO also increases the chance of the polar vortex breaking down entirely in an event called sudden stratospheric warming. A sudden stratospheric warming event happens when the westerly winds of the polar vortex reverse direction over the course of a few days. Most sudden stratospheric warming events lead to a blocking high pressure at the surface. Typically, this will form over the North Atlantic and Scandinavia. This means northern Europe, including the UK, is more likely to be colder and drier than average whereas the southernmost parts of Europe will tend to have milder, wetter and windier weather than average. On the boundary of the blocking high, cold easterly winds develop, often allowing a drop in temperatures leading to snow. This is what happened in early 2018, dubbed the Beast from the East. When producing seasonal forecasts for the UK, we forecast the North Atlantic Oscillation, which is more predictable in winter. Drivers such as the QBO and rainfall in the tropics are considered as they can influence the NAO in different ways. It's the NAO that ultimately influences pressure patterns over the Atlantic, including the UK. However, the relationship between the QBO and weather in the UK isn't simple, as the QBO happens in conjunction with other climate drivers such as the Madden-Julian Oscillation and El Nino Southern Oscillation. The exact effects of the QBO are still being researched. The greatest current challenges being the short observation record and the competing influences from other climate drivers. To find out about other climate drivers such as the El Nino Southern Oscillation or the Madden Julian Oscillation, make sure you are subscribed to the Met Office Learn About Weather channel.